Well, our next guest is best known for his role as DEA agent Steve Gomez on ABC's Breaking Bad. For all six years of the Emmy-nominated TV drama, this is pretty fun. This is huge. Welcome actor Steven Michael Casada right here on CT Style. How are you, Steven? I'm good, thanks. I have to say, you, you look a little sunburned. Were you out golfing or something? I, I was golfing, <laughs> in, yeah. I was in George Lopez's celebrity golf tournament yesterday, and I got tons of sun. Well, How'd you do? How'd you play? Uh, I played golf in George Lopez's golf tournament yesterday, and I got lots of sun. We heard that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so, and so. that was that. We're not talking about a handicap here. I understand. All right, well, so. my, handicap, my handicap is pulling into the parking lot. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, let's talk a little bit about Breaking Bad. Of course, most people know you from the show. What are some funny things that have happened off camera when, when the cameras were not rolling? Ah, oh, there's tons. I, I worked with some very, very funny people. It was kind of crazy that they put all these comedians and comic actors to do this pretty heavy-duty drama. But it meant it made for a very cool, uh, you know, off-camera stuff. I think my favorite story is when we were facing uh, the bad guys, me and uh, Dean, and the guy asked for our badges, and he goes, "How do you, how do we know you're not? How do we know you're cops?" And during the scene, uh, I yelled out. Well, this is Dean Norris. He plays a cop on every TV show ever. <laughs> and everybody started laughing. The director started laughing. And we were trying to kind of make light of it because that was a pretty heavy um, scene for me and Dean. It had been a, a nice long, you know, six years of, of, of playing partners and, and, and working. And working was the most important thing. Six long years of working in this industry is pretty tough. Uh, so, uh, but it was, it was funny and, and we really had a good time. I think it's great. Steven started off as a comedian, though. He's yeah. going back to his roots. Well, it's 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 interesting yeah. because the show is is so serious in some ways, and then you actually got your start there. And uh, we hear that you recently grounded your daughters. I do. Uh, I I ground them by throwing them outside, because uh, kids don't go outside. How do you ground kids when they don't leave your house? That's right? true. <laughs> you got to send them out. No cell phones. No Facebook. No Twitter. Right. Well, you know, well, I found that, you know, instead of taking the device, that it's more effective if you just take the charger. Oh, well, there you go. that's true. That's even more frustrating, I suppose. That's, so they could see percentage by percentage their <laughs> lives withering away, going away. <laughs> that's funny. How old are your daughters? Uh, right now they're 20. Uh, so my oldest just turned 20. Uh, my other daughter is going to turn 18. And then I got a 14-year-old daughter. So I have all, I, I live with all women. Wow. Uh, yeah. That must be a my lot dog, of fun. My dogs are female also. Oh, so. oh yeah. wow. Oh, so you got a maid. Now, now with the two older daughters, of course, you have a lot of uh, guys visiting the house, you know, trying to go on dates. What, what's that like as a father? I do. Well, it's tough, uh, especially there for a minute when they came in with that new hairdo, um, where the, 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 the hair went across their face. <laughs> and, um, and it was weird because I've, I've I played Gomez on TV, and I opened the door, and I thought that was Cousin It. <laughs> oh, man, that's funny. So. <laughs> well, who you're saying in, in one of your stand-ups, I, I thought it was really funny. These guys show, show up to your door, and it looks like they're riding backwards on the road in a convertible. That's how their hair is yeah. all styled. Right, I, t <laughs> I tell them, you're using the blow dryer the wrong way, bro. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, that's so you have great. two stand-up shows here in Connecticut this weekend. You're going to be at Marissa's in Trumbull on Friday night and then over at Mohegan Sun on Saturday night all through Treehouse Comedy. Tell us what we can expect with the shows. Well, we, you know, I've been doing, I've been on tour here for a little bit, and uh, we've been selling out the shows. We're really excited about people coming out and kind of seeing who I really am. Uh, I know I have a lot of Breaking Bad fans, and they're used to me playing this really serious kind of kind of role. But uh, we've had great uh, responses to you know my comedy. Like you said, this is what I started doing back in in the late '80s, uh, trying to break into the business, uh, and it was really hard for Latinos at that time to kind of break in. There was like one role; it was Pepe, uh, and we'd all audition for Pepe. And so I decided I have to figure out a way to you know feed my family, and uh, and I was a writer anyway, so I went into comedy. Uh, and so I think it's a great surprise for people to come in and see uh, what I love to do, which is live performance art, probably more than, than film and television, though I do love film and television. This is one level up for me. And so I'm excited to go out. You know, my sister lives out there in, in New York, so she's going to go to uh, the show so I get to see my sister. Uh, so I'm excited about going out there. 
And there's still some tickets available. You could purchase them at treehousecomedy.com. Uh, it's May 8th, 9.30 at Mercer's, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. And then uh, May 9th, 9 o'clock, Cabaret Theater at Mohegan. Stephen, it was a real pleasure talking with you. Well, thank you for taking the time for, for giving me a call. I appreciate it. Sure You're very thing. welcome. All right. Now, coming up.